Quiet Time Ministries. And every day, I have the privilege of meeting alone with the one who actually created me, who made the world. His name is Jesus, and He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And this is my quiet time. It's an amazing day when the Lord gives one of those aha moments in your quiet time. That happened to me, and I'm excited to share it with you. And maybe, just maybe, it will bring about an aha moment for you also. I'm going to give you a prayer that the Lord gave me that I think will result in amazing God moments for us all. In my quiet time, I opened Daily Light on the Daily Path, and it's a devotional that I like to read from every day. It's all scripture organized around a theme, and without fail, there's always a verse that I'm certain God wrote just for me. So I always have my pencil in hand when I'm reading, and I underline and I date those special verses. And then I actually look them up in my Bible just to linger longer and pray through them. Well, this particular day, I came to a verse that has been on my radar for many years now, and it happens to be what God is working into my own life. It's Proverbs 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. The first part about trust has been my main focus over the years. But now I was noticing the second part. It almost seems as though there were neon lights around those words, and I thought about them. And then I thought about certain things that have been disappointments or have threatened to discourage me over the last couple of years. And then the light bulb went on. I am thinking and concluding and surmising certain things as a result of circumstances. I have my understanding of those things. But God says in Proverbs 3, 5, lean not on your own understanding. The New Living Translation puts it this way, do not depend on your own understanding. It's as though scales came off my eyes in my quiet time. I pulled out my journal and I wrote, what I am learning here is that my understanding is deficient and flawed. I need knowledge and understanding from the Lord. His word gives me understanding. And then I thought about my word for the year, new, from Isaiah 43, 19, where God says he is doing something new. And I pray, Lord, give me a new understanding. My understanding is deficient and flawed. I need your understanding, your perspective, a new understanding. Well, with that prayer, my heart felt such a peace. And of course, God's word promises peace in prayer in Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Well, I didn't expect God to answer me so quickly, but he did. After I prayed that prayer in my quiet time, I picked up a little book I'm working through right now, and it asked the question, Imagine Jesus praying over you like a parent would a child. What might he say? Well, as I thought about answering that question, I wrote, Lord, I know you love me. I imagine you praying for me that my faith won't fail, just like you prayed for Peter. I think I wrote that because of my desire to have a strong faith. Faith was my word last year, and this year I plan to write a book all about faith. Anyhow, I immediately thought of Jesus' prayer for Peter and Luke, and I imagined him praying that my faith would be strong and not fail. Well, then I opened up my Daily Light devotional again, and I read the remaining verses. And guess what the last verse was? Luke 22, 31 and 32. Simon, Simon, indeed, Satan has asked for you that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail. Well, when I read that, I almost fell out of my chair. I said, Lord, is this the new understanding you want me to have? And here's what the Lord showed me. I am being sifted like wheat, and it's painful. And there is spiritual warfare going on. And life is a matter of faith, and I need to have a strong faith, but Jesus has prayed for me, and my faith will grow. How incredible it was to experience this new understanding from God and His Word. 
So dear friend, today I invite you to pray the prayer I prayed. Lord, give me a new understanding. And then get ready because you will be amazed at how he answers that prayer. Oh Lord, thank you for praying for us and showing us that we can never lean on or depend on our own understanding. Give us a new understanding today. And that's my quiet time for this week. God bless you as you continue on in the great adventure of knowing Him.